I thought today I'd have a look at trying to tidy up the uh, Hero 7 uh, helmet arrangement. I thought I'd take a look at a new product I found on an American site which seems to address the adapter box that you need with these Hero 6, Hero 7s uh, if you're going to use a mic etc. So I'll show you the product and I'll show you my helmet setup now and how it should improve it. So this is my current setup and as you can see um, the adapter has to be, it was quite a large box so I've actually attached it using one of the GoPro mounts on the side of the helmet and uh, the camera fitted on the front here with the mic going straight to the adapter. So let me show you the product I saw on this American site. So this is the product here and as you can see it incorporates the adapter into the housing below here so it's a very neat arrangement so it should fit more or less exactly the same as the current setup but just remove this adapter from being on the side to sitting here below the actual camera mount so I should tidy it all up but let's see how we get on okay so I fitted the uh, kit on there I haven't removed that extra extension because it was just too low if I mounted it directly down here it's just too low and you need to see the screen through through your visor to be able to tell if it's actually recording or what mode you're in etc so I've let's, we'll try I'll try it I'll test it as it is now leaving that extension in there so as you can see it's a little bit proud it's in my eye line so I'll be able to see the screen on the back and check out whether the screen's moving or not. Um, okay, so the next thing is to fit the hero into the back of it. So I just need to drop this. So rather than the uh, GoPro arrangement, this has got a sliding sort of carriage on the back for this flap here. Okay, so I've taken the uh, Hero 7 out of the usual one. Let's just drop that into the case like that. So it fits in like that and you just press it up and then it clicks into place this little locating lug on the side here so that's secure in there you can see the screen from the reverse so it needs to be about that sort of angle Stuff like that so it's sitting about half an inch or so from the visor but in in the same sort of angle to the visor so that when you're riding of course your head's a bit more like that, so it's more or less straight when you're riding. So now we need to get rid of this ugly arrangement on the side because this adapter is going to slide into there. Okay, so I've just fed the cable through from the, looking at it, the left hand side. Slide that adapter into place there. Until it's right home. And now, apparently, we there's only one way that this cable should be attached. So the bend up towards the rear over the top and in. So it's got to go in that or it should go in that way. Or they've still got all, the, all this gubbins on the side, which I've got to remove and tidy that up. And then I've got to relocate the mic. Uh, so I've got a short, stubby sort of 3.5 uh, computer style mic rather than having loads of wiring to loop up. So, so I thought I'd quickly show you the uh, mic that I use. It's one of these short 3.5 mics. They're, they're advertised on eBay as uh, computer mics, I believe. And they're really cheap, but with a little separately purchased. That simply pops over there. So if anybody's looking for something to attach their GoPro attachments to their helmet, I strongly recommend using this uh, Sugru. Um, I found it uh, mentioned on quite a few videos and tried it myself and I've used that to attach the uh, front mounted uh, camera to my helmet. It's moldable uh, material and you just uh, rub it together and move it into the sort of uh, shape you want. And as it says on here you can bond basically anything to anything with it. Um, it's water resistant, dishwasher proof, salt water proof electrically insulating etc but I've, I've used it as I say to attach the GoPro and uh, the GoPro has not moved 
an inch. I've never had to replace it or anything, and it's been on there for, for two years. So I'm going to use this to attach the short 3.5 um, computer mic to the inside of the helmet, leave it for 24 hours to harden off and secure itself, and then I can put the rest of it in place. Okay, so as you can see, I've now, uh, this is 24 hours later, and the Sugru has uh, hardened off, so the microphone is fixed in there. So I just need to connect that up. I've bought a 90 degree angle extension to add into here because that, that cable, this cable is not quite long enough to reach the adapter. Um, so we're going to have, hope you can see that in there. There we go. So here we are back again. Um, I've added a short extension cable because the uh, short sort of computer mic lead was not quite long enough and I didn't want loads of cabling to to tidy up somewhere so I bought this short cable it was only about three pounds off eBay I'll uh, stick a link in above here now just looks a lot tidier so to make sure I don't get any water ingress around these uh, terminals here um, so I saw online a product used by some vloggers, which is called Max um, Silicon Earplugs. And therefore, you're swimming to stop the uh, water getting in if you suffer from ear problems. And you get a whole pack. I'll put a link up uh, so you can see what I'm talking about from eBay here. It's only about three or four pounds, four or five pounds, something like that. And you can just mould these and then when you're doing a tour you can just pop this in here uh, mold it into the hole and give yourself waterproofing and uh, they're really easy to pull out they don't leave any um, residue when you take them out again so obviously you need to remove that if you're going to take the gopro out of the case um, to get hold of the sd card for downloading so you can use them multiple times i've used the same piece multiple times on a two-week trip it might get a little bit dirty but it does the job fine so last little tip there if that's helpful to you max earplugs silicon earplug material so i hope you found that interesting um, if you like the video please uh, click the like button and i hope you'll subscribe for further videos in the future okay thanks very much indeed bye now